Let's get started making our first lesson. We're here in an elementary course. Remember, if you want to get back to your courses, last year's courses, for example, just press courses. If you've scanned anyone else's codes, they'll be in student, and there's the material we share in public. So let's go into our course. Notice I've organized my lessons as folders. If you ever want to edit the names, they're ordered by alphabetical order. Just press the pencil to edit. You only need a title, but you can add a, some extra information if you like. And I've noticed some people like to right click and use this emoji shortcut to put uh, symbols. So let's start with science and make our first lesson. Notice in this case I've made a few lessons, but I've hidden the lessons that we haven't covered yet. If you want to hide or unhide lessons, just uncheck that one box in access control. Students can view. Let's get started with our first lesson. So let's start by adding a piece of media to lesson one. If I want to close my content of lessons there, I can press the menu button or the hamburger button or the sandwich, sometimes kids call it. Let's add a piece of media. And instead of pressing the plus on the lesson path, let's use the import file button. You could, if you have a video, you can just select video and pick it from your files. Sky supports all the major file types. You can play it, um, press save if you're satisfied. But Skies also gives you other ways to do things. For example, if you didn't see that import file button because you're at the end of your lesson, if you go down below all the different types, uh, media types, you'll see uh, import file button at the bottom. And this is another way you could import the file. If you had Google Slides, you could save them as PDFs or you can import PowerPoints. Finally, if you have, if you like to drag and drop, you can just drag files onto screen and you can even drag multiple files. Now, uh, this is all the same video, so I'm just going to uh, delete this card. And I can actually select multiple cards and use the panel that appears at the top to delete them at the same time. If you don't want the kids to watch the video yet, remember, you can turn cards on and off. I'm going to edit the card and give it a caption. You can always go back and edit your cards or uh, add media. So after I add my caption, I'll press Save. And now I'll add my uh, next card. Now, uh, these media types make use of the uh, microphones and video cameras built in, but you could also just do text. I'm going to ignore this allow students post underneath for a momentarily uh, and just save the card. So right now, uh, students can read this, but what if I wanted to add some media? You can always go back and edit your card by pressing the pencil and choosing the media button, the speaker, Students will see that too, and then you can choose the media type. So let's just say I'm going to do an image search. I can put in some keywords. If you're not satisfied with your search results, adding keywords like second grade or middle school can help refine your search. You'll notice that we give you options to do things on the images that you uh, retrieved uh, or to the show the results and pick your uh, favorite image. Once you save it, if you want to turn this card into a prompt, this is the important button here. When you press this button, now students can respond. Here's your teacher control panel, or TCP, and this dashboard will allow you to control what students can do. So now let's peek behind the curtain so you can see what it looks like from a student point of view. Notice it's very obvious for students where they can add cards, how they can respond, and how many points they're worth. Now, they have the media button, but they won't be able to do anything right now because you didn't give them permission. If you don't give them any special permissions, it's just like they have a Google Doc. They can write as much as they like. As soon as they post, you'll see it appear next to your teacher control panel. Now, let's pretend we give the students some more options. You can start checking these images of a camera or a video camera and students will get more and more options. Notice that now when they press plus, they have the choice to either enter text or make a photo. Video, image search. These image searches have safe search built in and they can also write on top of worksheets. That's the annotate. So let's add some more questions. I'm gonna add some more prompts. You can also use the checkbox if you know you wanna add the prompt. And notice how Skies saves your last responses so that you don't have to always click on the same icons. Notice the corner of the card has points, so you can 
have zero points or if you want to give a point for participation you can change the points however you like. Now let's take a look at collaboration. By default collaboration is turned off. So on the right side we're going to speed things up and pretend that we have three different students posting responses. One of them's putting an image, another one's going to record their voice and we're going to get more into those details in another tutorial. The first time they're going to have to say allow we give them the choice of different languages or not to transcribe their voice. And in this case, I just let it type what I said. So young kids that have issues typing would be able to make use of this function. Notice on the left now on the teacher side, the cards are stacking up. We have a stack of three cards that we can spread out and see all of the various student responses. We can play them back and we can turn them on. So notice now the other student will just see that card. And if you turn on collaboration, the students can see all of the cards. In this way, you can control how much the students see. And once they see their classmates' response, they can also provide feedback and comment on each other's cards. Now we have our first lesson ready to go. And now we'll get into our next tutorial that will get into how we share this lesson with our students and get them enrolled.